What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Saunders Lifestyle. Today's another day, another project at the third gen in the garage and about to tint the taillights. So if you're just tuning in, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. If you can, go ahead and give me a like, comment, share uh, by the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about my uh, video today. So uh, as you guys can see, I already uploaded a video of my wife's Jeep SRT. Did the vinyl wrap on that. It came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but today is another project the third gen Camaro. So um, I uh, ordered some Vivid tint and what it is is like a vinyl. It's a uh, dark, and then they got light smoke, dark smoke. I got dark smoke. So I'm gonna tint out the, uh, the tail lights. So I'm gonna do each individual light itself. So it might take me a little long to do, but um, at the end of the day, I wanna get it done because the next step from there is going to uh, take that same vinyl, tint this glass, because they say you can uh, tint over this. So as you guys can see, it's got a haze on it. So uh, I'm going to tint over it and hopefully it comes out pretty nice looking. I may do it on the inside. I may do it on the outside. I haven't thought of what I want to do on it because obviously that tint itself is going to go on the outside of this. So I don't see an issue with it being on the outside as well because I think if I were to tint the inside with that vinyl, yes, it'll be dark. But at the same time, it will look hazy looking on the outside. So uh, I'm going to try it out that way. See what happens. See what, uh, see what it looks like. And then... Uh, I'm gonna throw 5%, 50% on the front windshield itself to set the entire car off with a uh, black and the 3M shimmering um, vinyl wrap. So if you're just tuning in, like I said, go ahead and smash the subscribe button for me uh, one more time if you can. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and get you guys set up, show you guys what I'm doing and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, you will need your heat gun, and uh, I got my tools, normal tools right here, which is a squeegee, razor. I got my dirty ass glove that I use when it comes to uh, the vinyl. Uh, another little small tool. And uh, we got this tack rag. It's an old tack rag. So it's an old one, but I'm going to use it for now. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get you set up, man. And let's go ahead and get going. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got it shrink down all the way around, heated it with the heat gun, so it's good to go. So now my next step is going to do is I'm going to cut the squares out because, like I said, I want to keep the lines that I have the same color as the car, and I just want the glass, the glasses, individual glasses themselves to be tinted out. So, um, so it looks like so far, I'll show you guys what it looks like once I uh, cut them out. Let's go ahead and go. And just like that. One light down. I'll do the third brake light real quick and then I gotta do this side. So as you guys can see, that looks pretty cool, huh? Kept the same lines, the color lines in it. So it's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna match the wheels. Like I said, I'm gonna tint out the, the windows too, so it's gonna look really good. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what y'all think, man. So vivid vinyl wrap. And yes, it is see-through. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the other side real quick, man. And then I'll turn you guys back on when I'm completely done with it. Let's go. 2,000 years later. What up? Another day. Same project. It's been a minute. It's been a couple days, man. So uh, I had to take a break on it because uh, I had some other stuff come up. But uh, I was able to finish the tail lights. Uh, as well as the tail lights, I actually didn't video it, but I uh, tinted the uh, back glass, so the back plastic on the uh, Camaro. So uh, it came out pretty good, I think. Uh, overall, it looks really nice. The um, lights came out 100% good. It matches the wheels. The back glass came out really good too, as well as I uh, I told you guys it was gonna be a trial and error with the uh, as you 
as you guys can see i'm blowing smoke it's cold as hell up in here so i'm gonna make this pretty quick so uh i, I did pull the top down uh and folded up the back glass because it's plastic and the tent actually adhered to it so uh with it being cold i am be honest 100 percent honest with you guys with it being cold the back glass itself is uh it's hard plastic but when the sun beams on it it makes it soft so it will make it more uh, it will make the tent more stretchable when i fold the top down so when i when i had folded the top down uh yesterday the tent had bubbled up in like two or three places but it's is uh vinyl so all i had to do was take the heat gun to it heat it up and push it back down and it was done so it's not going to crease up so maybe after time maybe who knows if the material gets old and gets to the point where it's not stretchable uh but i think in the summertime uh that's probably the only time i'm gonna put the top down obviously but once the sun is beaming on it it makes the soft the uh, plastic a lot softer so when the, when the when it falls down it falls down a lot easier uh without making any creases and stuff like that it should be it should be okay so i'm gonna leave the top up for now because i want to tint the side windows and the front window this weekend give you guys a full uh 360 walk around of what it looks like i'm hoping that the uh, tire stickers will be in as well and i definitely want to add some color of uh, the wrap to the rims so I know I'm rambling on, man. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. I'm gonna give you guys some of that B-roll real quick. It's gonna be some short B-roll because I'm in the garage. I'm not giving you a full 360. So in three, in two, and one, let's go. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, it's coming along as, as I want it. Um, as I explained to you guys, let me just show you guys real quick. Um, this is a plastic vinyl top. But like I explained to you guys, so this with it being plastic, it's, it's flexible. As you guys can see, and obviously the vinyl. What I did was I put the vinyl on the outside because like I told you guys, it does go on the outside on the lights. So if I had to put it on the inside, it would have made it dark, but you would have seen the haze of the uh, plastic uh, clear glass on the on the top because it's a thick material. It's not like your normal glass. Um, so I did try this out. I folded the top down. It works. But like I said, uh, with the window being uh, cold, this plastic is a lot. Uh, it's not as soft. When the heat hits it, it makes the uh, the glass or the plastic softer. So when you fold the top down, it doesn't crease up. It folds good. It folds like it's supposed to. But what I typically do is when I put this top down because it is a manual top. Um, I make sure as I'm putting it down, I'm pushing this in, pushing this in all the way across. I've been doing that since I've had the car. The guy I bought it from, he told me to make sure I do that. That way I don't create creases in the glass itself or in the plastic itself. Um, and I've been doing it. No issues at all. It folds perfectly. But like I said, when it, the, the top and the sun's beamed on this, uh, it makes it that much more softer and it makes it more flexible when you fold it. So with that being said, this tent vinyl will be more flexible because once it heats up, it won't be a harder material, it'll be softer material, if that makes sense. Um, so enough rambling on that. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know if those that have uh, convertible tops, if you do have a vinyl glass, the vinyl tent wrap will work on it. I will give you guys an update. Uh, well, I would say an update once the um, the springtime comes around, because as you guys see, it's cold, man. So uh, I won't be really putting the top down that much now, but once the uh, spring and summertime comes around, I will definitely be folding it down. And I got, I'll give you guys an update, probably mid mid uh, June or something like that. I'll probably give you guys a, uh, a video update of uh, how it's been holding up. So um, I think it's gonna hold up pretty good. I'm not planning on putting the top down again, like I told you guys. So um, yeah, but it's it's coming out pretty good, man. My vision is getting there. Uh, the only last piece I wanna do is uh, tire stickers are coming for the car. Uh, I gotta put the air shocks on the rear. Um, I do probably wanna black out this this silver right here, even though it matches the 
Z28. You guys leave me. Uh, actually, you know what? I might leave it that way. Who knows? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Let me know if I should keep the center cap gray like that. Um, I want to definitely put some color of the uh, wrap on the rims just to give it that extra pop. And then I probably end up painting the uh, the brakes uh, with some, some type of br uh, brake paint. I don't know what color I'm going to do yet. I'll figure it out. Um, as of right now, it does have drums on the rear and disc in the front. I will do a disc conversion of probably when I get back stateside. I'm not trying to do too much stuff on it when it comes to the mechanics of it. Just cosmetic, just to hold me over. Um, car has originally 60, less than $60. It's got 58,000 miles on it. So, uh, overall, it's a good little 305 in it. Nothing fast. If I want to go fast, I get in the hell cat. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, other than that, man, I'm going to conclude this video today. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you guys showing me love and support so far. Numbers are still going up. I'm going to keep giving you guys this content, no matter how cold it is. Even though we're on COVID over here, it's a lot more strict here in England. I can't get out to any shows, but I'm telling you, once these COVID comes up and these shows start popping up, I'm going to start showing you guys in the States how the UK uh take care of business when it comes to cars man so the car scene out here is pretty big um they definitely have different types of cars um not the type of stuff that we see but at the end of the day man there's some pretty bad looking cars out here bad meaning good uh so yeah stay tuned that's all i gotta say man uh other than that i'm about to get myself back in the house because it's cold out here um smash the subscribe button i appreciate the love Saunders lifestyle and i'm out